Well, Colleen, this is a story very close to my heart. Tomorrow is World Down Syndrome Day, so let's show some of the pictures here. These are pictures of members of the Coastal Alabama Down Syndrome Society. I think there's one from Mississippi in here, too. The kids and teenagers and adults with Down Syndrome who are part of this great organization, we're part of it, too. So according to the WorldDownSyndromeDay.org, March 21st was selected to signify the uniqueness of the triplication or trisomy of the 21st chromosome which causes Down syndrome. On March 21st, tomorrow, people are also asked to wear mismatched, brightly colored socks to show their support for people with Down syndrome. Down syndrome is not easy. A lot of parents, when they hear their kid will likely have Down syndrome, may not go forward with the pregnancy. Those that do learn the challenges, but also the many, many joys of Down syndrome. And we've gone to a lot of these events over the years. These are great events with the Down syndrome society. A lot of fun. I, I think the one that I look forward to the most is the annual uh, Christmas party. And I, I thank the folks in the Down syndrome society for providing all these pictures as well. Yeah, I should have wore the mismatch mis mismatch socks. Well, today. it's tomorrow. It's you still you still have one more. Uh, okay. It's for for tomorrow. When people ask you, it's to support uh, my friend with Down syndrome. It's support yeah. a family member I know who has Down syndrome. It's, it's whatever the case uh, may be. This is why I call you Super Dad Chad. I mean, you're a great father. It's too no, no it's too much credit. It really <laughs> goes to my, society, my wife. Great society, and of course we support it here. It, it goes to my wife, who who really does most of the oh. work, especially when I'm I'm here working. And again, uh, wonderful people, wonderful organization. I'm so glad that we we're able to be a part of it. Also, we're glad that you're here with us this morning. More news coming up in the second hour of News 5 this morning. Stick with us.